April 15, 2015, the maiden voyage of the Isla Bella, the world's first LNG-powered container ship. Since entering operation for Tote Maritime, the Isla Bella has relied solely on trucks to fuel its 475,000 gallon tank with liquefied natural gas. Until now. This is the Clean Jacksonville, North America's first ever LNG bunker barge. Designed to provide safer, more reliable, and more flexible ship-to-ship -ship bunkering to totes LNG-powered container ships in the port of Jacksonville. The unprecedented international collaboration began when a team of GTT engineers in France, assisted by collaborating designers, created the conceptual design for this 2200 cubic meter LNG barge. The design received approval in principle from ABS and DNVGL, and construction began at Conrad Shipyard in Orange, Texas in 2015. The barge's single cargo tank contains proven, robust Mark III flex membrane containment technology. This is the first LNG tank built for an LNG bunker barge. This technology has been widely used around the globe. We have about 300 vessels equipped with such kind of technology. We're really proud of the fact that we used all of our internal workforce that we had and retrained them. Uh, for the skills and the crafts necessary for the installation of the tanks. We trained membrane installers, bonders, and specialized welders for the membrane system. January 2017, the LNG tank is completed, a major milestone for the clean Jacksonville. Next, crews continue their work on the barge exterior including the installation of GTT's Reach 4 bunker mast. This first-of-a-kind mast was designed to transfer LNG safely from the bunker barge to totes container ships, with flexibility to service a variety of vessel configurations. We are a company of engineers, and this project for us has been totally fascinating. There will be more and more ships relying on LNG in the years to come. There will be more and more barges in order to deliver LNG to these ships. So it's an area of growth and it's an area where we expect to play a very important role. In June 2018, summer temperatures are rising in Orange, Texas, as the Clean Jacksonville prepares for a series of trials before final commissioning including the coal tests. Here, coal nitrogen is being pumped into the pipes, on the deck, in the auxiliary room, all the way to the bunker mast, making sure all components function under cryogenic conditions. Lasting several days, the coal tests are successful. At daybreak on July 21st, a tugboat pulls the clean Jacksonville over 300 miles down the Sabine River and along the Gulf Coast to Port Fouchon, Louisiana for gas trials. At Harvey Gulf Shore Side Bunkering Terminal, 700 cubic meters of LNG are pumped into the cargo tank and the cargo handling systems for the first time, ensuring the barge is ready for all future operational scenarios. By August, this first-of-a-kind vessel has passed every inspection and is moved to its final home. I would like to thank very sincerely all uh, the stakeholders in this barge for their very, very hard work. They've done a great job. In September 2018, the Clean Jacksonville achieves yet another industry first when it begins transferring LNG to Tote's groundbreaking fleet of container ships, marking the conclusion of an unparalleled international partnership and the beginning of a cleaner, safer, and more reliable future for the Port of Jacksonville and beyond. We think that our various partners are now in an excellent situation to secure new contracts thanks to this first experience.